Hey, hello everyone, welcome back, Zeb here, back for a quick, the Stomping Land Guide. This one's basically going to show up everything you need to set up around your camp. Now, I got it by the beach, because I spawn here. I recommend, honestly, building some weapons, going kind of deep into the forest, and then setting up your camp there. One, a lot of players travel around the beach, easy to kill you. Um, so, they're kind of less likely they're going to find you in the middle of the forest. Two, I think you should find a river in the forest by a cave, set up your teepee there. And, uh, because it takes a lot longer to kind of run deep into the cave, and your teepee right over here is your spawn point. Your teepee is going to cost you 10 wood and 2 stone. Again, only put what you need into the supply crate, otherwise it'll use more than you need. Hello, oh, little dino. So, your teepee is going to be your spawn point, so you kind of want that in a good spot. I recommend, again, trying to make it pretty far into the forest and then building it, so that way when you die, you don't have to run all the way back into the forest again. But, all you got to do, 10 wood, 4 stone, click on teepee there. Now you see it's going to be really big around you. Oh. That'll go up. Nothing fancy. Just a teepee there. And the textures come in. Boom! Right there. So now we're going to spawn right back here at any point that we die. Now the next thing we have here is a totem pole. It's going to be 8 wood and 2 stone for a totem pole. Um, the only significance of this really is uh, online play, which I'm not. I'm on single player for the sake of argument. And we'll start building that. Build your totem here. This is basically going to be like, this is your camp. This is your thing. You can get people to join your basically clan or tribe whatever you want to call it and you'll see here told them all they gotta do is come up click E they'll have an option nano knights inspect yeah I'll face with a tribe leader see in Norway or Zeb so steam name but it'll say your total members and average expertise see I haven't really been in here that long so 13 and dinosaurs hunted and humans hunted so you get a good job you can be pretty feared everybody should really set up their camp around this totem but uh, also, the uh, other thing is that when people come into your area, all they have to do is hit E and then hit take down, and it'll destroy everything you have. And then you won't spawn there. So uh, if everybody's away from the camps, one person can kind of disassemble an entire camp pretty quickly. So that, And then you don't spawn there, and then you can't ever find it again. So that's kind of all. Sorry. So the last thing that you're going to really want around your camp here, other than a fire pit, which I've went over before, is a cage gonna cost 15 wood alone let's build up that cage cage you can keep prisoners in it you know it's uh it's a good thing they also can't escape if you keep them in there so um they kind of just have to die now uh the way to get prisoners in there basically is to get a bolus and throw it around their legs again bolus two wood one stone i believe for bolus and uh loop it around their legs basically you'll be able to drag that person drag them in to this cage here. Zero prisoners in this cage. But that is really everything that's going to be built around your camp, and that is what you need to build everything. So, again, if you have any questions, let me know. If you did enjoy the series, please subscribe, and I will uh, see you all for the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye!